everyone, and welcome to the Botanist Garden Club. I am Pam. And I'm Elka. And I'm Wendy. And we're back. Woo! Yay, we're so back. back. Our wonderful season of Botanist Garden Club episodes. We're very excited. We as always. Excited. Yes, yeah. and apparently some uh, uh, customers are excited too because yes. we get emails <laughs> Asking mm -hmm. where are you? Yes, which feels good you? actually. I like that. Yeah, yeah I do too. too. It's We're been a long winter. It feels like it's yeah. been a long time since we've been in front of the camera. It does. It's, it's good does. to be back. It is definitely good to yeah. be back. And we thought we would start off this season of our episodes with you know talking about our favorites mm -hmm. for the season because we are quite frankly the gardening experts. <laughs> in exactly. Our own life. That's right. Well, you know you have to have a little bit of expertise after doing this for this many years. Twenty years you've had the business, sure. or is it more than that? More than that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. fifteen plus years that I've been with you as your customer happiness manager. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. So all of the things we're going to talk about today you can actually find on our website at botanist.com. You just go to our favorites or our faves and they're all listed there. We each get to pick a few exactly. and that's what we're going to discuss today. But Bye. if you're new to, oh, yes. uh, uh, to our garden club mm -hmm. then uh, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification which is that little a bell, bell shape on your YouTube channel mm -hmm. because then you will be notified every time you put something up. Mm -hmm. We as uh, you know, like as botanists, we send out emails and we let you know that we do that and we have a new uh, a new show up. Mm -hmm. But if you're just more used to YouTube itself, then exactly. just turn on your notifications. Yes. And don't forget, if you like it, like it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Tell people about it. Share it. That would That's be really right. nice. You know, I am so eager eager to get back in the garden. Because oh, this yeah. year I've got a few things that I really have to plant. Mm -hmm. You'll see them in my faves, mm -hmm. but I cannot wait. Hemerichalis desert icicle. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine actually planted it last year and she sent us the picture and it's so gorgeous. It has these wonderful, very swirly, curly petals that are completely reflexed. Mm -hmm. It goes in this like cool lime green right in the center mm -hmm. to golden and then turns into this really lovely pink. Mm -hmm. And I think what I love best about hemerocallus is they're no fuss. You know, if you put them in an area that the, the soil isn't that great, they'll still live. I mean, you don't want to do that mm -hmm. particularly. But I, I love the fact that they will do the job in areas that aren't the very best parts of the garden. But the one thing I've noticed over the years, it will take part shade, they say, but you'll get way more flowers if you plant it in an area where there's a little more sun. sun. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and I think it, it looks very different than it, than is, than like it, it yeah. really doesn't look like your standard no. daily. It doesn't, mm -hmm. but it has all the good stuff of the, of yeah. the, the, the easy growing mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. Color That's color. right, sure. and the colors mm -hmm. are stunning as well. So mm -hmm. definitely give that a try if you'd like. I am definitely going to put that in my garden mm -hmm. first thing this year, the second I can start planting. <laughs> and I also love Monardus. They are one of my favorite flowers. Do, yeah. Yes, and partly because every time I touch them or brush by them, you get that smell of the Earl Grey tea from mm -hmm. the leaves. And actually the leaves are edible. The beautiful one that I'm going to be planting this year is the Monarda Petite Delight. It's a little bit shorter, up to 20 to 24 inches, depending on where mm -hmm. you put it in the garden. It doesn't mind a little bit of drought. You know, it'll, it'll stand up to that. It is mildew resistant. The deer and the rabbits don't like it, mm -hmm. but I don't have that problem, but I know lots of people do, so you yeah. want to plant little plants that are going to survive that. Mm -hmm. It just gets bigger and better every year, and it's got these beautiful sort of dark pink, lovely shades of pink on the flowers, mm -hmm. and it is otherwise known as bee balm, right. yep, but exactly. fantastic, and you can take a little bit of those leaves, wash them off, and put them in a salad. Yeah. A little goes a long way, but it's a beautiful plant. Yeah. Really, really pretty. You know, and exactly. bee balm. Bees love yeah. it. We know mm. we're all about the That's bees. So right. that is a great one to grow for sure. Mm. Good choices, Wayne. Thank, Thank you. you. The good thing <laughs> on, on perennial is that they get bigger and better. I mean, yes. you know, so That's you know, right. like you start out and then it just gets uh -huh. more, more and more. More exactly. and more and more. <laughs> more and better. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know what? Every time I walk to my front door, I actually kind of love, I have to say, I love my little shade garden because it's this, there's an overhang it's and it's a little, enough. yeah, it is shady. Uh, and so I'm always looking for shade plants. And I do have uh, the Dicentra Spectabilis there for years now. And the interesting thing is Dicentra, they, they basically give you that beautiful show, mm -hmm. but then they disappear. So yeah. you don't have any work. You don't, right. You're not worried about it in the winter. So uh, that's why I chose one of my favorites, which is also Dicentra Spectabilis, but it's still called Valentine. Mm. And the difference to it, it is red. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody knows the white and the pink mm -hmm. uh, Dicentra Spectabilis. But uh, this one is very dark red and has also a darker foliage, which I just love oh, the, the 
nice. richness of it right. and it has this nice little white teardrop hanging mm -hmm. on the bottom it's just oh, it's just lovely and you know and especially because it is such a showy plant in a shady area which we often look for it's like it's i think it's um it's rated for partial shade to full shade oh. so partial shade you know any plant likes a little bit of sun, but mm -hmm. obviously not uh, full sun. In they that do sense. very well in mm -hmm. those shady spots. I mean, that's going to look amazing. Yeah, right? exactly. And the good thing is uh, that it's also good for th zone th on all, all the zones, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Three to nine, I think oh, it three is. Nine. That covers a lot which of people. Is, yeah, but you know, they could grow it in containers if they would. If sure. Someone in the exactly. zone one or so yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, mine is a uh, uh, kind of mix up with grasses. I put the grasses a little bit closer to the mm -hmm. sun. Uh, but uh, but the height is also pretty good. It's 75 centimeters. I'm German going into the <laughs> metric. 30 inches. Well, we are metric is, is, it, here is it 30 in inches? 35 centimeters? 30 yes. inches, yeah. yeah. So that, that one is a definitely must have for me because mm -hmm. sometimes pink is not always working. Red is, is just a, right. another rich uh, yeah, cool like color. Yeah, I like that idea. It's going to look great in your front mm -hmm. area there. Yeah, I'll try that. And then I was looking around for the later season of, of my garden. I love dahlias. I think we had a dahlia show and everybody knows now that I'm <laughs> and really Crazy. into, into <laughs> the dahlias. But, but that's because, you know, my Oma always had them and it's a wonderful cut flower. Mm -hmm, yeah. So the ones that I chose for my faith was the, uh, the Encore. New mm -hmm. to us, new to me. I've never had it, but I will... Uh, planet it's a really really big variety it's mm -hmm. kind of, i think it's called a fringed dinner plate so you have mm -hmm. both oh my it's gosh, fringed and dinner plate, <laughs> wow. which has about a mm -hmm. diameter of the plumes across 10 inches mm -hmm. 10 oh, inches like yeah. that's huge yeah, that yes. is. and i mean you know you, you read all across about super mm -hmm. sized and sometimes they go into like the five six feet i've never seen it that tall more like um mm -hmm. 36 inches it might, if, if the conditions if for oh, that yeah. particular summer yeah. and fall are and that way. Beating it maybe? Yeah, sure. yeah, and it, it, yeah. It all depends on the mm -hmm. sunshine, how right. much shade you have. It is a late plant, which is very good because often we have nothing left in, yes. in the garden and then the dahlias are coming. And as a florist, I particularly like, like it because it is a very good cut flower. And not right. just by the flower itself, but because the more you cut it, the more flowers you have. Right. And that's always very appealing because yes. often when I start snipping my plants, <laughs> I make sure that there's something left. And so this is a very uh, good one because it will mm -hmm. come back uh, it's a little bit harder to work as a cut flower because the flower is that you big you just need mm -hmm. one but you need exactly one yeah. cool vase uh, mm -hmm. one a bowl or something so i might just show a little something what to do with it but that yeah. is a must have for me this yeah. year too yeah like beautiful it. bright yellow yeah well i've chosen one you're talking about you know getting lots of flowers for cut flowers well i've chosen a, a day lily as well as Wendy, she chose a hemerchalis as well, but mine is called, well, it's not mine, but the one that I chose, <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> it is mine, yes, no. Um, it's Madeline Nettles Eyes. Now, that is a mouthful. What? But Excuse me. I don't know. I don't know who Madeline Nettles is, but she obviously has very unique and lovely Beautiful eyes. eyes. Yes. Um, this one, actually, to tell you the truth, I really liked it because at first glance it reminded me of pumpkin pie. Oh, mm. Ooh, I'm yeah. all about the food, I'm all about Thanksgiving. <laughs> My birthday's so around that time, yeah. so I'm very partial and preferential to pumpkin pie and that's exactly what it looks like you know it's got that nice deep sort of rich orange color with the burgundy throat and Ooh. which kind of looks like cinnamon or cloves if Ooh. you're thinking pie um, it is a beautiful <laughs> yeah mm. um, it is a beautiful early bloomer but it's also a rebloomer so you're going to get lots of flowers when you plant this one and it produces probably about 30 buds on uh, on a stem on a Ooh, nice mature yeah, plant that's exactly that's maybe not the first year but then maybe yeah, not the first year but you're definitely going to expect that and as wendy said easy care mm -hmm. absolutely easy claire the the blooms are somewhat smaller they're about two and a quarter inches in size but the color but oh. the colors yeah. i mean they're and one after the other one mm -hmm. after the other i you know what really really truly an easy care plant if you want some beautiful color, unique color, in your garden, then choose that Madeline Nettles eyes because, um, well, it's lovely. And of course, if you're thinking pumpkin pie, you, you'd <laughs> want to get it. Yeah. Too bad we can't rename them. Yeah. Maybe. Although yeah. I think there is I one. would call no, it pumpkin pie. I think there is. You would yeah. call that is pumpkin yeah, pie. Yeah, that's yeah, probably right. there oh, well. is one. That's why. <laughs> um, well, another one that I've chosen because I love the look of it was the decorative dahlia called Red Rock. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was my second choice. Yeah, oh, was it? Red yeah, rock. Oh, and, oh, such a beautiful dark red color. And then on each tip of this decorative dahlia is a nice white point. Yeah. Oh, so it nice. kind of looks like a bit of an explosion. Yeah, yeah. Like poo. And very easy to grow. Yeah. Always easy to grow. Now you do have to lift and store dahlias. So if you're interested in how to do that, you can refer to our episode 23 of the Botanist Garden Club, which is 
dedicated to mm -hmm. lifting and storing. Yeah. Very easy to do, not a big deal, but the payoff. Worth it. Worth yes, it. I mean, totally worth it. I mean, it Who doesn't love Adelia in the fall? I mean, they're just so yeah, beautiful, those absolutely. bouquets yeah. that you can spend a lot of money on at farmer's markets. Well, why not grow them yourself? You yeah, know, you know. Get the, the Encore, get the Red exactly. Rock. Exactly. And I, I love on the, on the Red Rock, you know, mm -hmm. those the wide lines. Yeah. It's like the, the amount of petals you have on, on any Adelia oh, yeah. is, I think, is spectacular. It's just so fascinating how perfect how perfect all of these petals it, it, it seems like they're all exactly the same size and they're all bundled up and and now with the white line mm -hmm. it, it's even it's more distinctive yeah. 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 It, it is just fabulous quite yeah. frankly they're magical really yeah, that's they what are. they are they're quite magical yeah well we have of course chosen more faves this is just a few of mm -hmm. what our faves are you can find all of our faves as we mentioned listed on our website just go to botanist.com you can choose our faves and hopefully you do choose our faves for yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's about 60 pages of faves <laughs> and about 500 plants, so <laughs> feel yeah. free. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, take your time. Exactly, <laughs> take your time. Well, if you are new to the Botanist Garden Club, we welcome you. And if you have been watching us for many years, then you know what's coming next, and that is our prize giveaway. We yes. always give away something. Mm -hmm. and we always ask a question. We ask a question. So this week's question is, what kind of dahlia is Encore? Hmm. Have Elsa gave you that information. She did. So be sure to send your answer to gardenclub at botanis.com and then Pam will draw three lucky winners. Mm -hmm. And what are they going to get? Well, they <sighs> are each going to get a $10 Botanis gift card that is great. emailed to them that they can use at any time. So we'll give you about a day to send in your answers. We'll do that draw tomorrow and yeah, we'll have three lucky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're back. We're we back are back. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. It's great to see you. We hope you've had uh, shorter winter than well. Hope let's just yeah. Let's, let's just, just ignore that. Focus, let's bring forward to the, the fun. spring. Yeah. Um, exactly. Spring is coming. Exactly. Yes. Subscribe for the channel. Yeah. Like yes. it. Turn on the notifications so you're always up to snuff what we're doing. Yeah. And we will see you next Thursday. Exactly. Okay. Take care. Thanks everybody. Bye bye. bye, -bye.